So this is our second video. Here we're talking about the elasticity of demand. So let's just take a regular product, let's say cars, price $10,000, and if you read the graph, you see that 500 are being, are being demanded. Uh, $15,000, so the price goes up, and as you know with the law of demand, now people are buying less. Hopefully that's just common sense. Price goes up again, $20,000, and 100 are being demanded by the consumer. So that fits with the law of demand. This is what the majority of your demand curves look like. As price goes up, uh, people are buying less. As price goes down, people are buying more. Get your downward sloping, regular, elastic demand curve. Now, let's look at a second product. This is called Magical Wonka Pills. Um, this is a product that some people need if they have this disease called leoninitis. See, leoninitis is this disease that causes people to turn into a commie and then die. Unfortunately, Mr. Fritchen here suffers from Leonidas and he needs magical Wonka pills to survive. So he needs 50 a day to live. So Mr. Fritch and I've got these Wonka pills here. I can sell you 50 of them. That's how much you need to survive. Would you like to buy them for one dollar? Yes, I would. One dollar. One dollar. Here's your magical Wonka pills. Now you can survive a minute longer. Thank you. I'm not a commie anymore. So, so at one dollar, uh, he was willing to buy fifty. Now, Mr. Fritchen, you need some more, or else you're gonna die from Leon and Nitus. Hold on, no, don't die, don't die. We'll sell them to you. I'll sell you fifty more for five dollars. Would you like to buy? I have to. I don't want to die and become a commie. Yes. So but five dollars, you still buy? Here's some more of your uh, more of your pills so that you cannot die. So at $5, he was still buying 50, the same quantity. The price went up, he's still buying the same quantity. Now, how about $20? $20, you need them again. You're going to die without them. $20 for 50 pills. Yes. But if I don't take them, I become a commie and die. Yes, the yes, yes, yes. I guess I have to pay you for them. I guess he would have to. I guess he'd have to. And $20, I guess you'd have to. Here, here you go, here's 50 more of your pills. So as you see, price went up, and this product was a necessity. We have a demand curve. If I can draw a straight line, it's straight up and down. This is your inelastic demand. And Mr. Fritchin's demand for magical Wonka pills is perfectly inelastic. Because I'll die without them. I'll die without them. Characteristics of inelastic demand, necessity. Two, few or no substitutes. And three, it might be, not in this case, but it might be something that's so inexpensive that no one cares that the price went up. These are your three characteristics of inelastic demand. This straight uh, demand curve straight up and down sort of looks like a capital letter I. That's how we can remember that this is inelastic demand. Until next time. Oh, hey, 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 hey.